Okay, hey guys, um, Gregory from Beer Punk here. I'm here with uh, lovely people of May Grand Men at the Uncle M Festival in Germany. Um, let's get off, <laughs> try and start to get a bit personal. Um, okay. Like, uh, this was one of the hardest interviews for me to like do, uh, prepare for the whole weekend because uh, when I was looking for stuff like dirt on you guys, okay, I couldn't really find anything. Is that dirt like what? Like um, the big, um, the big social media life. Like you know, okay. you have bands that that, that live like uh, half the time on the social media. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like yeah. I don't think you guys are one of those bands. Is that like no. a deliberate choice, or are you just like more? Are you tired of the online life, or are you just? Like, yeah, man. I mean, we've all got a lot going on in our real lives, and so that doesn't really leave much time for the internet oh, okay. Um, okay. and not that there's anything wrong with the internet but I, it's just I don't I know that we've got a Facebook I know that we've <laughs> got a Twitter I know that we've got an Instagram I couldn't tell you the passwords to any of those <laughs> things oh damn it was my next question <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, okay. So, so it's, oh, were you gonna ask me what the passwords were? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. Sorry. Okay. Um, so it's not like deliberately like oh, I'm trying to fly low. It's just like the no, focus? not necessarily. I just don't think. I mean, like our focus as a band always yeah. has been just writing and playing music. Um, and you know, obviously those those social media sites are phenomenal phenomenal vehicles for you know yeah, for getting people to pay yeah. attention. Um, but at the same time, it's never, it's just never been something that we really spend a lot of time and energy on. So. Um, yeah, because I, I thought like maybe you guys are like fans of like keeping it on the down low because of the new album. Like, um, I mean, I'm certainly a fan of subtlety. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I'm certainly a fan of um, letting people, uh, you know, letting people find things themselves and, and forming an opinion on it themselves and, and what have you. I don't like you know I don't like shoving anything that I do or have anything to do with in people's faces you know the hey look at me hey look at me not really yeah you know, not really our bad because I was kind of like maybe comparing it like the, the new album like, if, like it was just suddenly there like you guys didn't create a buzz around it you've right. got a lot of questions about it already but, yeah um, yeah maybe my question that should be more like how did you guys go into that recording process because like it wasn't deliberately like you're trying to create a buzz like hey look we're but right yeah no um we went into recording that record uh you know very sort of we weren't even you know it's not even necessarily something that we were planning to do yeah um you know we got we had taken a bit of a break we had um you know, we had been each been individually writing, you know, little stuff here and there, sending it back and forth, getting a feel for stuff. And then we got together and started, you know, and started actually writing and it, it started to come together in a really cool way. So we just decided, hey, you know, we've got these songs, why don't we go and record them and just see what happens. Okay. Um, and sort of just, you know, in the spirit of that sort of spontaneity, um, we didn't think it really needed, and maybe it whether it did or it didn't need, I guess, I don't really know, but we didn't really want it to have this whole big sort of, you know, yeah. build up around it. We just wanted to do it and, you know, put it out and have people hopefully enjoy it. Yeah, it's a great record, actually. Thank I you, I appreciate it. it. I appreciate very much. it a lot. Would you compare the two records? Like, oh, okay. Um, I think the thought process of going into uh, everything, uh, everything you ever loved, was uh, completely different than this one. I think, or like, um, did that result into big differences between the two? They, they were the the processes were very, very yeah. different. Um, in that, everything you ever loved was very much from the you know. Um, you know, from the very beginning, we were setting out to write a record. You know, it was very much a process of 
um, you know, every piece of music was done because we knew we were, you know, we were going to record a, a record. Um, where that wasn't the case on Don't Be Long. Um, you know, it was sort of just written just because we wanted to write it. Yeah. Um, and so in that, in that sense, they, the two are very different. Musically, um, I suppose they are, you know, they have their differences, but I, you know, I would be ashamed in ourselves if we ever wrote, you know, the same record yeah, over yeah. again, you know what I'm saying? Um, so there's certainly, uh, but it, there's, at the same time, there's a lot of similarities. There's a lot of things that we, um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of things that we did on Everything You Ever Loved that I think that we sort of um, expanded on when we did Don't Be Long, which yeah. I was really happy with. Can you give a bit, a bit, a couple of examples? Of yeah, that? sure. Just uh, you know, just the idea of of um, of writing songs that deliver sort of a sense of urgency without having to be, you know, all go, no slow, right in yeah. your face. You know what I'm saying? Like. We put out In Measure Mile and a lot of those, I mean, I adore all those songs very much and I do think of that record, just like anything that we do, is um, very urgent. But it's very urgent in a, a pretty, uh, um, hmm, what's the word? It's urgent in a, in a very sort of evident way. You know, yeah. the, the songs are fast, the songs are loud, you know, the vocals are gruff. And uh, you know, there's not really much guesswork as to you know what are these songs about? What are, you know, what kind of vibe are these guys trying to portray? Um, and so, on everything you ever loved, I think it was a little bit more of an exercise in subtlety, yeah. still sort of delivering you know, um, you know, an urgent and emotional sort of message and, and feel, but maybe not as in your face. Yeah. Um, and that's something that I, I tried really, really hard to continue. Uh, when we did Don't Be Long. Just one of the eight fantastic bands playing uh, the Movie Life's hosted uh, yeah, festival. Right? Isn't that uh, crazy? Yeah. Uh, so wild. Adobe Festival, it's called. Yeah. Um, how stoked are you? I, I read that um, there literally wouldn't be any Make Me Lament without. Um, oh, them. is that correct? One thousand percent. Yeah. Really? yeah. I, oh my God. Um, yeah, big time. Um, the Movie Life were. I would. I. It's absolutely safe to say the band. You know, for me, where I heard it. Um, and they came at a really interesting time, um, you know, in that for that genre of music because it was the early 2000s that they really sort of, yeah. you know, gained a lot of popularity, and they were surrounded by a lot of bands who were just, just kind of sucked, <laughs> like you know, really kind of like wimpy and like the long hair and the yeah. this that and the other thing and songs about high school and the girls and you know and this that and the other thing um, and I remember hearing the movie life for the first time and being like wow like you know they exist in this world they exist in this sort of like um, in this kind of like pop punk world yeah. but there's something different there there's something it's it's harder it's more substantial more, it's more, more emotional more it's honest, maybe too. more honest absolutely i mean those those records are incredible the lyric writing's unbelievable the vocal delivery is so just raw and in your face and so that was something from the very beginning as soon as i heard that band i you know i said to myself that's if I ever that was before you know that was before I even started playing in bands yeah. um, but I you know I said I said to myself if I ever if I ever play in a band if I ever write music it's gonna sound like that it's gonna be in your face it's gonna be honest it's gonna be uh, and it's gonna be it's gonna be heavy and it's gonna be brutal but yeah. not in a but in a very melodic and sort of accessible way and that's something that we've kept uh, you know pretty pretty true to throughout the yeah, you know think, throughout the course of our band you know? yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah they're movie life 
big, big for me, for sure. Yeah, okay. So they just taught you, like, the values you want to put in your music. Absolutely, because. absolutely. Because, I mean, growing up and listening to, you know, punk rock and hardcore and stuff like that, those were things that always, you know, really resonated with me. Yeah. Um, and to see a band do it. And, I mean, there's, of course, there's countless bands who have, you know, did it like them, before them, since them, whatever. But to have a band that I really connected with who, you know, provided the sort of, like, the substance and the message and the meaning and the feeling that I got from listening to hardcore bands and stuff like that, but in a more sort of, like, melodic way without being too... Um, without being wimpy, without being too sort of, like, bubblegummy. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's, uh, you know... Yeah. Yeah. make up your own festival lineup with let's say six ish bands who would you pick like oh, man. any band in the world any band in the world yeah oh jeez <laughs> any band in the world past or present yeah we're doing we're doing a reunion can you we do a reunion yeah you can even do a reunion, we can do that's, a reunion. that's so tough six bands oh man i don't know if i can answer that no. there's so many um oh jeez movie life would be on there hot water music would be on there uh, the Smiths would get back together. Oh, that'd uh, be awesome. Yeah, that'll never happen. Uh, um, hmm. Those are some. Those are some top choices. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you can keep it with three, All right. three bands. Yeah. There we go. And then you guys play three more times. Yeah, yeah. sure. Well, okay. cool. Um, I I did find a little glimpse in the Matrix. Um, I saw that you used Adam Sandler as a discount code for your web shelf. How much do you guys? Did like we really? It? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's like, so cool. <laughs> that gives you. Uh, what was the discount code? Uh, Adam Sandler. It was just Adam uh, Sandler. Just Adam Sandler. That's <laughs> fucking hilarious. Um, that just shows you how like I'm not. I didn't know that at all. Okay. I'm sure that's something that my brother did, um, which is incredible. I back yeah, it 100. percent yeah. uh, We're big Adam Sandler fans, really? yeah. especially like I'm the oldest of uh, of of four boys, so I've got three younger brothers, and I swear to God, like. I think we really only truly speak to each other in like quotes from Adam Sandler movies. <laughs> really? Like it's just yeah. Um, Do you oh have yeah. Favorite one? Uh, the Wedding Singer. It's my oh, favorite Adam okay. Sandler movie cool. for sure. Yeah, cool. yeah, classic. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Um, <laughs> talking about um, Wedding Singer stuff. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if you could sing any song you'd like on a karaoke night, what one would it be? Oof. Another tough that's one. A tough, that's another tough one. Oh man, no clue. no clue. No clue. I can't. I'm not good with on the spot. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Um, maybe we can discuss the plans for the rest of the year then. Or yeah, we definitely can. Um, no real, no real firm plans. Um, we're playing a festival back. Well, actually, we're playing a couple festivals back in the states. Um, we're playing Bloodfest in Michigan. Um, we're playing a we're playing a show called Wrecking Ball oh, in that's, Atlanta. That Did you sick. see that lineup? That is sick. Ridiculous. That is ridiculous! Absolutely crazy. That might um, be my dream. Festival. Oh my god! I was talking to a friend the other night, and they go, "Oh, who's playing that?" And I just go, "Everyone." everyone. <laughs> I just, yeah, I mean, and they just go, hmm, "Okay." And it's I couldn't, you know, it's definitely the case. It's just everyone. Um, so those would be good. Other than that, no real, uh, no real firm tournament plans. Okay. Um, I'd love to get back to Australia by the end of the year. Uh, maybe do like, uh, maybe do Japan. We've never done Japan before. But other than that, man, we're uh, yeah. Uh, we, are you uh, going to keep it on the download again after the touring for this record? I think that I, I, I think that our days of touring like. Makes really, sense. really hard. Yeah. Um, are, are 
over probably. Okay. I mean, you never really know. Never say never. Yeah. But we've all got, you know, we've all got pretty, um, you know, pretty serious, uh, like, you know, career type jobs. We've all got life stuff at home, whether it's, you know, girlfriends, dogs, yeah. you know, stuff like that. Um, which is which is exactly how we like it. We're you know we're a pretty we've never been um, we've never been like you know super band dudes. Yeah. You know we're just kind of just normal guys. Like I like waking up and going to work in the morning. Um, and so uh, we I will definitely be playing shows, um, but it, it'll be. It, you know, it'll be when it feels right and when it, you know, when it works. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, uh, grab every opportunity you can to see these guys. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, that's definitely a, a lifestyle you can respect. Uh, I appreciate that. Thank thanks, you man. very much oh, for thanks, your time. Thanks and, for doing uh, it. See you at Cruise Rock. All right. We'll see ya.